What's up, warriors? Welcome to your warrior flow. My name is Leland Holgate, and I am the president and founder of Warriors for Life America. So give me just a second here. We're going to get some extra light going on. We've got a new spot here, if you can't tell. One moment. working with this new place, so <laughs> give me just a second. There we go. Right. Try to get a little extra light. So, I was hoping that you guys would see the background, but I'm a little sad because you can't really see it too well. It's this strip, like this whole panoramic view that I get outside of the window is so I'll figure that out because I'm going to work with my brother who does uh, professional camera stuff. So if he is one of those wizards on the camera, we'll figure it out. We'll hug this in. But welcome to the new place here at Casa de Colgate. And welcome to your warrior flow. This is a completely different form of yoga from anything you might have experienced in the past. So if you've taken yoga yourself, you may notice a few differences. And one of those is I'm not going to play any music, so the whole time I micro you, it keeps your mind from going to that arbitrary place that I like to go to every now and then. And for me, uh, this form really, really works as being a combat veteran and also suffering from several traumatic incidents throughout my life, uh, also physical, you know, recovery, quadriplegic, and a paraplegic. You know, it's helped put my body and my mind back together so many times. And with this form of yoga, a little less about the yoga itself and more about the motion that we create and the self-regulation techniques that you're going to hear me talk about through. And that's what this is all about. So as we move through, you'll hear me call out those self-regulation techniques. And those are all based on science, but let's keep Sanskrit. I love that kind of stuff, but that's no place here with our resilience yoga. So building resilience, what does that mean? Building resilience is just the ability to bounce back, the ability to recover just a little faster. So you'll notice as you practice this several times, after a few times, you'll start to notice some differences in yourself. One of the things that I noticed in myself is the fact that something would you know, spike my adrenaline or something would really activate me. And I would bring myself back down a little faster each time. So that's what this form has helped me do. It really helps you check out of everything outside and tune in to the inside. We're going to keep going here in just one moment. And hopefully you're having a beautiful day. It's absolutely gorgeous outside today. So if you can, get out of the house, go do something outside today. Absolutely. It's one of those days for that. Oh, my All right, so we'll get started. My name is Leela Holgate. Welcome to Warrior Flow Resilience Yoga. And I'm a combat veteran, also the president and founder of Warriors for Life America. And what I've used is this form of yoga really helps bring you back to the moment. And it helps deal with, with a lot of anxiety, depression, and pretty much anything in life that has caused any sort of trauma. So if you allow yourself to listen to the self-regulation techniques that I call out throughout the practice, you can take those on or off the map. Those work whether you're here, whether you're in a car, whether you're at the office, they are beautiful for that. So you'll notice a few differences in this form of yoga, which you might notice from others. And uh, one thing is we don't play any music. So I might go through the whole time. And that allows you to keep your mind from going to that uh, dark and dreary place, that, that dark alley that it likes to go to. And as we're moving through, you'll notice again those self-regulation techniques just meant to bring you back to this present moment. So as you sit and breathe, just realize that breath is presence. And being here in the moment will allow us to cut out some of that anxiety and some of that fear. Fear being from the past and anxiety and expectation of the future. So being here in this moment now. 
So it's a lot less about the other. It is more about the therapy with yourself, that, that somatic based therapy moving through the body, and listening to those self regulation techniques. So this is all based off science. You won't really see any Sanskrit as we're moving along. I'll call out different ways that orienting your, your brain or orienting your vision can change certain things and certain different positions as we move through this practice that you'll notice as well to help the body soothe and calm itself. So you'll notice I'm also up front. I don't walk around. Even if we were in the room together, I stay right up front and I practice with you the whole time. So I will be your model. If I call something out you're not quite sure, just look up to the screen and see where I am, okay? One of the biggest things about this form of yoga is express your choice. If you sit and breathe, if you lay down and breathe the entire time that we practice, you are practicing yoga. 95% of all yoga is breath work. So allow yourself to do as little or as much as you want to do and go as slow or as fast as you want to go. Remember, this is your yoga, your mat, your rules. All right, we're going to get started in our seated position. Whatever that looks like for you, you can be cross-legged, your legs can be straight, your knees can be bent, whatever is comfortable for you. So notice your sitting bones connected to your mat. Sit up tall. Now just let your chin drop to your chest. No need to force it. And just let your hands rest on your knees. Slight separation in your fingers. And pick out four different colors, four different shapes. Maybe you notice the contrast of your skin in comparison to the mat. Or the color of your clothing in comparison to the floor. Maybe the patterns on the floor. Anything to bring yourself further into this moment. And as we're looking down, this sends the signal to our brain all as well. I am safe. I am right where I should be. Practicing a little mindfulness, just a fancy word for noticing. Just notice with curiosity where you may be tense, where you may be holding, where the breath may be restricted. No need to change these things. Just notice. Be curious. Leave the judgment. Now pull your belly button in towards your spine. And really engage your lower abdominal muscles by restricting the flow of urine. Keep everything engaged at that center of your being. You'll feel that area start to heat up. That's your internal core temperature, your internal furnace firing up. Continue to pull everything in and up. This also helps pull that mind chatter down away from the brain where it can be burned and used for fuel. Continue to pull your belly button in and up. Feel that power build and realize that power comes from you. Just another few moments. Slowly start to release. And now three-part breath, filling from the bottom all the way up to the top. As you inhale, big belly into your chest, into the back of your eyes. Exhale through your chest, press your belly button into your spine. Inhale, big belly into your chest, washing around behind the eyes. Exhale through your chest, press your belly button to your spine. Inhale, big belly, into your chest, washing around, cleansing. Exhale through your chest, press your belly button into your spine. And now come back to your normal organic breath. Notice the difference in the body from the forehead, jaw release, shoulders away from your ears, your hands just gently lying underneath. On your next inhale, take your right ear to your right shoulder, head rolls back, exhale left ear, left shoulder, chin to your chest, inhale right ear, right shoulder, head rolls back, exhale left ear, left shoulder, and continue to roll around, link your breath to your motion. You pick your pace, this is your mat, your yoga, your rules. You'll hear that popping and cracking, and it's just nitrogen leaving the joints. 
that old stagnant energy. Roll around one more time. Let your chin fall to your chest. And give yourself a moment of pause. Let any dizziness subside. That's completely normal. And now as you inhale, left ear, left shoulder. Head rolls around. Exhale, right ear, right shoulder. Chin to your chest. Continue to link your breath to your emotion. Let yourself continue to roll around at your pace, allowing that old stagnant energy to clean its way out, making way for that new. And roll around one more time. Let your chin fall to your chest. Give yourself that same moment of pause. And now slowly start to blink your eyes open. Start to lift your gaze. You can pull your heels in towards your hips and roll over. Or just move your legs out of the way and make your way onto all fours. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Take your right leg to the back of your mat. Now lift it up, cross it up and over to the left. Keep your shoulders right over your wrists as you inhale, chest moves forward. As you exhale, look over your left shoulder. And you'll notice that stretch in the side body. That's what we're looking for as you inhale, chest forward. Exhale, look a little further. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, look a little further. Now look down to your hands. Bring your right knee back up and over. Don't want you walking in circles, so let's do that other side. Left leg goes back. Cross it up and over to the right. Hips nice and square as you inhale, chest forward. Exhale, look over your right shoulder. Feel that stretch into the left side body, opening up the lateral side of the body as you inhale, chest forward. Exhale, look a little further. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, look. And look down to your hands. Bring your knee back up and over. Tuck your toes and press back to your first downward dog. For those that might not know that nice spacing for your downward dog, you can come to your plank. Notice your hands under your shoulders, your heels over your toes. And without adjusting, just lift your hips. Press back to that nice V shape for the downward dog. You can also bend at your knees here to take the hamstrings out of the equation so you can have a nice flat straight back. Your hands about shoulder width apart, feet about hip width apart. Remember to bend in your knees if it feels like your hamstrings are too tight. Now you can press your chest back towards your thighs. And lift your shoulders up away from your ears. Feel that, that decompression in the spinal column. And while we're here, we'd like to rock the two most powerful words in the universe. So rock those out for you today. That's I am. I am amazing. I am happy. I am healthy. As you inhale, heels up, look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive, arms come up overhead, hands come to touch. Inhale, heart center. Look down to your fingertips. Send a signal to your brain, all is well. I am safe. I am right where I should be. And release. Right. And now we're going to move through some sun salutations. So sun salutations are meant to burn up that excess energy that we all carry inside of our body. So remember, allow yourself to move at your own pace. If I'm going too fast, you can slow it down. If I'm too slow, you can speed it up for yourself. There we go. Now we can see me a little bit better. All right, so we're going to come up to the front of our mat. Remember your choice. You do as much or as little as you want. If you sit and breathe while we do this, you're still practicing. Don't inhale, arms over right. Exhale, swan right forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back, lower down, half push them. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And rock your I am's. I am healthy. I am happy. I am healing. As you inhale, heels up, look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive, arms come up overhead. Hands come to touch. Inhale, heart center. Exhale, release. Breathe in, arms overhead. 
Breathe out, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, lower down, half push. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Rock your IMs once again. I am strong. I am confident. I am perfect, just the way I am. Inhale, heels up, look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive, arms come up overhead. Hands come to touch. Inhale, heart center. And down. So your feet and knees can be together. Look past your knees. See if you can see your toes. You can even wiggle your toes, which helps you put the weight into your heels. Now press your belly button in towards your spine. Raise your arms up overhead. And as we look up, this helps clear the fog off of the mind, bringing a little clarity to the situation. Maybe you sit a little lower, press your belly button in towards your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, lower down, half push up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Rock your items here once again. I am confident. I am loyal. I am generous. As you inhale, right leg goes up to the sky. Bend at your right knee. Let your heel fall over to the left. You can look under your left shoulder. Helps bring a little stability to your pose. And you get a view of a dirty foot. <laughs> you can lift your right knee up toward the sky as well. You'll feel that hip stretch increase on the inside of the left thigh. That's what we're looking for. These are those big muscle groups. We've got to open them up. As you inhale, straighten up your right leg. As you exhale, swing your right foot forward in between your hands. Drop your back heel down and inhale up to warrior one. So with warrior one, your back leg stays straight and strong. Bring your hips to the front of the mat. So left hip forward, right hip comes back. Arms up overhead. And now sink in towards your front thigh. You'll feel that stretch all through the back of the leg, into the hips. These are some of the tightest areas of the body. And this is also where we hold all of our past, our depression, our regrets. It really does store in the body. And opening up these big muscle groups really helps. You can bring your hands together. And maybe you sink down a little further as you look up. So allowing yourself to let go, which is sometimes the hardest pose in yoga. Let's focus on your breath. As you exhale, bring your back knee down. Your hands can come down. Now you can tuck your toes. And as you inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, dip your hips forward. As you inhale, reach. And now I'm going to give you a balloon. I want you to picture that in between your hands, the size of it, the color, the texture. And I'm going to give you a marker, and I want you to write down everything that you want to let go of in your life, all the things that no longer serve you. Write it all over that balloon. Maybe it's a feeling. Maybe you don't have words for it, so you can associate a number or a color. Write it all over that balloon. As you inhale, feel it lifting. As you exhale, separate your arms and watch as it sails away. Smaller and smaller, taken by the universe to be recycled into something beautiful. Inhale, reach up. Point your hands. As you inhale, reach your right leg back. Lower down, half push up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Rock your I am's. I am prosperous. I am powerful. I am healing. As you inhale, heels up, look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive, arms come up overhead. Hands come to touch. Inhale, heart center. Breathe out, release. And again, everybody's favorite, sit yourself back and down. Look past your knees. Can you see your toes? Tuck your tailbone, belly button into your spine, arms up overhead. And let your shoulders drop away from your ears. Shoulders is where we hold all of our anger and resentment. 
It's important for us to open those areas up, and we'll get a chance to do that here in just a moment as you exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back, lower down, half push-up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Rock your I am tier once again. I am playful. I am brilliant. I am beautiful. As you inhale, left leg goes up to the sky. Bend at your knee. Let your heel fall over to the right. Feeling this on the inside of the right thigh. You can look under your right shoulder. Maybe you lift your left knee up a little higher. As we're looking under our right shoulder... Maybe you see that matching dirty fit. <laughs> Inhale, straighten up your left leg. Exhale, look forward, swing your foot in between your hands, drop your back heel down. Inhale, up to your warrior one. Again, back leg, straight and strong. Your toes can be slightly angled, the back foot slightly angled toward the front of your mat. Your hips. Square to the front of your mat, left hip back, right hip forward. You'll feel that stretch increase. And now sink into your foot thigh. Again, we'll be here for just a moment, opening up those hip areas. Letting go of the path. Maybe you bring your hands together, maybe you look up. Maybe you sink in toward your front thigh. Now as you exhale, bring your back knee down, your hands come down, tuck your back toes, and as you inhale, reach up, exhale, dip your hips, inhale, reach. And this time I'm going to give you a sky lantern. You're going to write everything that you want in your life. Picture that sky lantern. All four sides, blank and empty, ready for you to write down everything that you want in your life all the people that you want in your life, the places you want to go, the events that you want to experience, maybe something for your family and friends, write it all over that sky lantern. Now I'm going to give you a candle. You light that candle, place it under your sky lantern, inhale, feel it lifting, exhale, separate your arms and watch as it sails away. Smaller and smaller taken by the universe to be granted as a wish for you and those you love. Inhale, reach up, plant your hands, left leg moves back, lower down, half push up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Rock your I am's here once again. I am wealthy. I am powerful. I am healthy. As you inhale, heels up, look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Reverse long back, arms come up overhead. Hands come to touch. Inhale, heart center, look down to your fingertips. Send the signal to your brain once again, all is well. I am safe. I am right where I should be. And release. And once again, everybody's there. We're going to inhale, sit back and down. Arms come up overhead. This time, bring your hands together. Now bring your hands in toward heart center. Take an inhale, lengthen through your spine. As you exhale, twist to the right. Your left elbow outside of your right thigh. Or you can bring your left arm across your thighs with your right hand to your lower back. Left knee comes back in line with your right. It likes to slip forward. Let your hips sit below your heart. So you're not way up in the air. As you exhale, press your right hand onto your left and twist. This helps purge the toxins out of our organs. and also resets the spine. Exhale, fold. Heel to your feet. About hip distance apart. Bend at your knees. Let your chest fall to your thighs. Now take your peace fingers and thumbs and wrap them around your big toes. Let your head fall. Now we're just letting the heart get the break that it needs. When the heart's above the head, it doesn't have to work near as hard to pump blood up to the areas where it's needed. You can make this active if you'd like. You can start to pull with your elbows, moving east and west. Keep your chest attached to your thighs. and work to straighten out your legs. 
Or you just leave this to be passive and let the heart get the break that it deserves. You also start to notice the blood pools and those happy hormones start to drip. And here in a moment, you'll notice why we call this the Xanax of Yoga. Stay in your fold, release your hands up to your hips, pull your belly button in towards your spine, and slowly, very slowly, head comes up last. Take yourself up. Oh, yeah, that's the yoga business. Step your feet back together. Again, sit yourself back and down into that chair pose. Arms come up overhead, palms come to touch, hands come in toward heart center. Take an inhale, lengthen through your spine. As you exhale, twist to the left, right elbow outside of your left thigh. Or remember, your right arm can come across both legs and your left hand to your lower back. So right knee back in line with your left. Sit your hips down. And as you exhale, press your left hand onto your right. Look up past your left shoulder. Let those toxins purge. Reset the spine. Taking care of those internal organs so super important. Exhale, fold. You'll tell your feet about the distance apart once again. And this time, take your hands and place them underneath your feet. And again, knees bent, so your chest can rest on your thighs. And you decide whether you want this to be passive or whether you want to make it active. So you can pull with your arms, straighten out your legs. And while we're here, besides giving the heart a break that it deserves, we're also toning that vagus nerve system that we all have, which enacts that parasympathetic or relaxed side of the body. The more work we do on this, the more relaxed we can be. Release your hands up to your hips. Pull your belly button in towards your spine. And very, very slowly, like it's a game to come up last, tip yourself up. Oh, I love that so much. I can do it all day long, so we better move on with our practice. I want so you can stop step your feet together. As you inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, swan back forward. Inhale, half foot lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, lower down, half pushing. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Rock your high hands here once again. I am a little sweaty. I am happy. I am playful. As you inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, swing your right foot forward, drop your back heel down, inhale up to warrior one. Just for a moment, and now we open up to warrior two. Notice how you can scoot your back leg back to give yourself a little bit more room. Your, your toes can also angle out to the side a little bit more. Back leg straight and strong, front knee out toward the pinky toe. Now I'll let you sink down a little further. Arms out. Right in front of you, back arm back, straight line from fingers to fingers. We'll be here for just a moment, letting those hips open once again, taking care of some of the biggest muscle groups in our body. The more we take care of these areas, the better we walk, the more we sleep. The more we sleep, the less grumpy we are. Now, as you straighten your front leg, <clears throat> reach for the front of your mat. We you can reach no further. Hand with your hand to your shin, your ankle, or to the floor. You lift with your left arm up. Keep your front leg straight and strong. I know you're feeling it right here on the inner thigh, and that's what we're looking for. This muscle comes all the way up through and attaches to the inside of the hip. Super important for us to stretch this. We'll pull your right hip back in towards your side. Reach with your left hand. This helps keep the spine nice and straight. Just another few moments here. And now bend into your front thigh. Bring your right elbow to your thigh. You can reach your right hand down and for another shoulder opener, for an extra little shoulder opener. Your top arm can come behind your back for a half mile. Now really open up your chest. Look over your left shoulder. 
can stay in your lunge. You can also do a full body by reaching underneath and grabbing through your hands. And keep your shoulders open. Stay in your bind. And now come look down with the right hand. Left arm comes up. Now we're going to bring the left hand down. Your back heel comes up. Stretch across the body by lifting the right arm up. Opening up all of those big muscle groups. Letting go of the pads. Right hand comes down. Right leg moves back. Lower down with half push it. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Rock your high hands here once again. I am letting go. I am healing. I am happy. As you inhale, left leg to the step. Exhale, swing your left foot forward. Drop your back heel down. Inhale, up to warrior one. Now open up to your warrior two. Remember, you can scoot that back leg back. Keep your back leg straight and strong. Bend, bend towards your front thigh. Remember your pinky toe, or your knee toward your pinky toe. It likes to collapse inward. And then you bring the shoulder blades together too to create that straight line from fingertip to fingertip. Also let your shoulders drop away from your ears. You want to let go of that tension. Now straighten up your front leg. Reach for the trunks of your mat when you can reach no further. Hinge your hands to your shin, to your ankle, or to the floor. Reach with the right hand. This helps keep your spine nice and straight. Pull your left hip back into its socket. Keep the front leg straight and strong. Feel that stretch in the inner thigh. Just another few moments. Bend into your front knee. Left arm comes up. And now you can let your left hand come down if you like. And maybe you go for those same shoulder openers. Right hand behind your back, or top arm behind your back, for a half bind. Remember to open your chest. Open your shoulders. You'll feel that stretch. You can go for the full. Reach underneath your hips. Grab for your hands. Keep your chest nice and open. Just another few breaths. Now left hand comes back down. Right arm reaches. And now right hand comes down. Back heel comes up. Lift with your left. Come across the body. Stretching across. The body loves you for doing this. I promise. Left hand comes down. Left leg moves back. Lower down. Half cushion. Inhale. Up dog. Exhale. Down dog. Rock out your I am's here. I am moving forward. I am amazing. I am powerful. As you inhale, heels up, look forward, walk your feet to meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And reverse swan back, arms come up overhead. Hands come to touch. Inhale, heart center. Look down to your fingertips. Again, sending a signal to your brain, all is well, I am safe, I am right where I should be. And release. All right, so no more vinyasas, I promise you've made it through that. We're going to bring in some balancing now, though. And of course, in the mind and the body, it is important to have that balance. So you're going to step to the back of your mat. And as we move forward, I want you to keep in mind exactly what I told you before. Express that choice. You can keep on these balance postures your back leg that's going to lift on the ground. You'll still or still feel everything that you need. Okay, so step to the back of your mat, feet together. Arms up overhead. Palms come to touch. Cross at your thumbs. Now step your left foot forward. Your back heel comes up. Find your balance. And now hinge your upper body forward, parallel to the floor. You can lift your right leg up, keep your hips nice and square. They like to roll on top of each other. You can also bring your hands in toward heart center to help with stability. And again, notice in this position, if you keep your back leg down, you still 
feel everything that you need for this balance posture in the back. Keep your front legs straight and strong. Keep your hips nice and square. Just another few moments. And now let your right foot come to your left, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Reverse one, that arms come up overhead. Hands come to touch. Inhale, heart center. And release. Take a step to the back of your mat. Let's do that other side. Arms over your head. Cross your thumbs the other direction. Step your right foot forward. Back heel comes up. And again, make those little shifts. Find your balance. Hinge your upper body parallel to the mat. Lift your back leg up. Remember to bring your hands in for a little extra stability. Now you can focus on keeping your hips nice and square. And remember, you can leave your toes down. You can lift them up. You can make maybe a little toe tap going here. And keep your balance. Now let your left foot come to your right. Fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Reverse squat back. Arms come up overhead. Hands come to touch. Inhale, heart center. Look down to your fingertips. All is well. I am safe. I am right where I should be. And release. Step to the front of your mat now. Little extra hip openers. These are my favorites. So hands on to your hips. Take a long step back with your left leg. Back leg stays straight and strong. Now you can bring your arms up overhead. Press your inner thighs in toward each other. And you'll notice how you can seat down a little more. Bring your hands together. Hands come in toward heart center. Lengthen through your spine. As you exhale, twist to your right. You can bring your back knee down here if you need. And as you're here, press your right hand onto your left. Twist. Again, purging toxins from the organs, resetting the spine, and also building a little balance. Let your back knee come down and release your hands to the mat. Now let your right foot work its way outside of your right hand. The back foot, the top of the foot comes onto the mat. Keep your front foot parallel to the side of your mat. And we're going to stay right here for just a moment. I know you're feeling that already. Working into the hip flexors, also working into the IT bands, the glute area, all those big muscle groups that come together and form all of these areas that cause problems for us. Can you check in with that story that you're telling yourself? This is where it's key. Can you focus on your breath? We're all telling ourselves a story. Maybe you start to bend your elbows. Maybe you come down to your right forearm. Maybe you come down to both forearms. And while we increase that stretch, what story are you focusing on? Are you focusing on the suck? Because then you just get more of that. Or are you focusing on the change that comes from the challenge? The growth that comes from letting go? Can you just focus on deep inhales? Deep emptying exhales. Notice how when you focus on the breath, you find a little more space. You find a little more letting go. Just checking in with that story and continually reminding yourself that I am doing work for me. I am becoming more. Slowly work your way back up to your hands. Let your right toes angle out to the right just a bit. Now right hand comes up to your knee. And as you exhale, press your right knee away from you. Stand your right shoulder open. And remember to let your hips fall forward. I know you're feeling that in the front of the left hip flexor. That's that psoas region. That's some of the big muscle groups in the front of the leg connecting to the hip. Let your hips fall forward. Press your right knee away from you. You'll feel the stretch into the external hip flexor on the right side and that IT band. The more we open these, the easier it is for us to be active. We sleep better, I promise. Which always, always takes care of the body. 
And then slowly bring your hands back. Work your right foot back in between your hands. And now work your way back to a half split or a full split. So if you've got a full split, rock it out. I'm super jealous. Great job. Half split. Plant your front heel into the mat. Your toes come back towards your knee. And through your back knee, directly underneath your back hip. Your back toes can be tucked to protect the patella or top foot down. It is completely up to you there. So fingertips to your mat so you can sit up nice and tall. Keep your knee in, or keep your legs straight and your toes headed back toward your knee. Pull your right hip back into its socket. You'll feel that stretch increase. That's what we're looking for. Again, check in with the story. Focus on your breath. Running that story over and over in our head that we can sit with ourselves. I can allow the growth to happen. I can find the strength to persevere. I have made it this far. I will not stop myself. Coming out of this side carefully, plant your front foot into the mat, tuck your back toes. As you inhale, left foot comes to your right, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive, arms come up overhead. Hands come to touch. Inhale, heart center. Look down to your fingertips. And release. And let's do the other side. Don't want you walking in circles. Hands on your hips. Take a long step back with your right leg this time. So back leg stays straight and strong. Arms up for your crescent lunge. Press your inner thighs together and notice how you can sink a little deeper. Hands together overhead. Hands come in toward heart center. Lengthen through your spine. As you exhale, twist to the left. Remember, you can bring that back knee down if you need, okay? Down to bring support so you can concentrate on the twist. You look at a little pop. Oh, you right. Press your left hand onto your right. Look over your left shoulder. Exhale. Bring your back knee down. Hands come to the mat. Work your left foot outside of your left hand. And we're going to stay here for just a moment. Important. You notice the other side. You don't just rush into the advanced posture. You want to warm into these areas. Like I said, these are some of the biggest muscle groups ever, so let's take care of them. And what we're helping do with a lot of these poses is we're opening up the fascia. That's that connective muscle tissue that connects muscle to muscle. So when we're in these poses for extended periods of time, it allows that to open, really release a lot of the energy that the body really stores from all those past events, from all those abnormal things that have happened in our lives. When you're ready, start to bend your elbows. You can come down to your left forearm, and maybe your right. <clears throat> and while we're here, again, let's check in with that story. Are we focusing on that beauty that comes from us focusing on ourselves, from giving you everything that you need I'm just focusing on the breath. Inhale. Deep emptying exhale. So allow yourself to continue to focus on my inhaling and my exhaling. The more we let go of that resistance, the more we find exactly what we need. You want to slowly work your way up to your hands. Left toes angle out to the left just a bit. Left hand to your left knee. Press your left knee away from you, lifting the inside of your foot up. Let your hips slip forward as you look over your left shoulder and twist. Again, purging the toxins out of the organs. Getting that stretch into the front right hip flexor area, the psoas region. And working into the outside of the left. Letting go, making us number one right now. Congratulations to you for making you the number one priority on your list today. Let yourself come back down. Now let your foot come in between your hands. And again, half splits or full splits. 
So plant your front heel into the mat for the half split. Toes come back towards your knee. And completely up to you again, whether you want the top of your foot or your toes tucked. And now keep your front leg straight and strong. Pull your left hip back into its socket. Feel that stretch increase. And you may notice both sides are a little different. That's completely normal. This side is my tighter side. So you notice I have to breathe and focus and just let go to keep that leg straight and stretched. With that dominant and passive side of the body, so it can feel a little different on certain sides. And this is where it's important to just focus on the breath, check in with that story that you're telling yourself, and let it go. Just another few breaths. Now, coming out of this side a little differently. We're going to plant our front foot into the mat. Bring your left hand inside of your knee and bring your knee back. Make your way onto your mat. So we have now reached the floor series, which, of course, is everybody's favorite. So we're going to start with a wide leg forward fold. Now, keep in mind with the wide leg forward fold, it's not so much about how wide you go with your legs. You'll notice, actually, if you go too wide, your hips roll back. You don't want that. So bring your legs in together. Give up some of the wide leg forward fold so you can keep your legs nice and straight, knees down, toes towards your knees, sitting bones connected to the floor so we're sitting up nice and tall. Just take an inhale. As you exhale, work your hands down to your shins and maybe your ankles or maybe the insides of your feet. And remember, you can work your way there nice and slow. Super important not to round at your back, but more of a hinge forward. So shoulder blades together, sit up nice and tall. Press your knees down. Inhale for space. As you exhale, you can find a little more real estate. Now remember to press your knees down. Keep your hips engaged as well. This is called reciprocal inhibition. So when we tighten up one muscle group, the other muscle group releases. So you'll notice when you press your knees down, toes in towards your knees, hips nice and engaged. As you exhale, you pull yourself forward. You feel more stretch and letting go. That's amazing, isn't it? Just another few breaths here. With each breath, with each inhale, you find more space. With each exhale, you can find a little more real estate. You can also pull your belly button in towards your spine. And that really helps hinge yourself forward and keep your spine nice and straight. And slowly release, bring yourself back up. Keep your left leg right where it is. Bring your right foot into your left thigh. Put the left hand outside of your left knee. Sit up nice and tall. Shoulders nice and square to your left foot. Right hand is the action hand. Take an inhale. As you exhale, move your right hand on the outside to your shin, your ankle, or to the outside of your left foot. Press your knee down, and you'll notice again that stretch that comes through the back of the thigh, all the way from the calf, up the hamstrings, into the glutes. You get that stretch across the shoulder into the solar plexus as well. So remember to hinge and find some space. As you exhale, maybe we come forward a little more. Just another few breaths. We did all the hard work. Now it's important just to stretch those areas out and let go of a lot of that lactic acid, let go of a lot of that past as well. You slowly start to release, come back up. Now take your right leg out. Left foot comes to the inside of your right thigh. Right hand. Just outside of your knee, sit up nice and tall, shoulder square to your right foot. Now as you press your knee down, the left hand is the action hand. Inhale, exhale, move down to the outside of your shin, your ankle, or to the outside of your foot. We'll be here for just a moment. You'll feel that stretch through the left side body from the shoulder down through the solar plexus and ribs. And of course, through the back of the right thigh. 
And with each breath, you can find space. Remember to pull your belly button into your spine. Really make this about a hinge instead of rounding your way forward. Protect the spine. Always, always, always. Now slowly bring yourself back up. Now we're going to move into boat. So you had no idea you were going to build a boat today, but you are. So sitting bones connected, feet to your mat. Bring your hands behind your hamstrings. Elbows nice and wide. This helps promote a long, straight spine. And now start to increase the angle between your chest and your knees. Once your core engages, you'll feel that engagement. You can lift your shins parallel to the mat. You notice that shake starts to happen. That's exactly what we're looking for. It's neurogenic. So that's what we're trying to shake that fear free, all that excess energy free. It's like a cheetah after it hunts. It shakes it free, all that excess energy that it has free. Letting go of that fear. We don't need it anymore. It doesn't serve us. It's a construct of the mind that only affects us if we allow it. Right ankle over your left, heels come in and plant your hands, inhale, lift left, exhale, lower back down, and come right back to your boat, whatever that looks like for you. Maybe you have an inner tube like I do. Maybe you straighten your legs and you go for the speed boat. Maybe you have the arms out and you go for the sailboat. Wherever you are, just let that energy shake its way free. Fear stands for false evidence appearing real. That mental construct, once again, we're making it up in our minds. Left ankle over your right, heels come in, plant your hands, inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower back down, and come right back to your boat one more time. Whatever that is for you, just let that excess energy shake its way free. Let that fear go. It also stands for base everything and rise. You have that power to let go, to shake that fear free. Right ankle over your left, heels come in, plant your hands, inhale, lift up, exhale, lower back down. Now pull your heels in towards your hips, and again, roll yourself forward. All right, so we made it to two of my favorites now, so we're going to stretch the mid-back and the chest open. Okay, super important to have these areas open as well. Like we talked about, this is our present right now. These are our social muscles, these scalenes on the side. So you notice whenever you get angry, your shoulders come up. So it's important to really let those areas go. We're going to be standing on our knees. So shoulders over your hips, hips over your knees. And you can tuck your toes to make this a little more accessible, okay? For those that want to advance it, though, of course, tops of your feet onto the mat. That's a little bit more difficult. So tuck toes makes it more available. Hands to your lower back, like you're placing them into your back pockets. Elbows come together, let your shoulders drop away from your ears. You notice your chest start to shine forward. Elbows come together, then stay forward. Now start to look up. You'll feel that stretch into the front of your throat. Elbows together, hips forward. Let your head fall back when it feels comfortable. You can stay here, or you can reach for your heels. Thumbs out, fingertips in, hips forward, shoulders back and down, head falls back. Keep your hips forward. Now one hand at a time. Bring your leg back up. Now sit your hips back to your heels, knees coming together. Just let your palms sit on top of your thighs. Face up here to receive a little bit of energy, or face down and just root yourself in the moment. And soften and close your eyes. You can also let your chin fall to your chest. Notice the difference in the body from the beginning until now. Forehead and jaw release. Shoulders falling from the ear. And hands just gently lying on your thigh. Hero's pose is also an amazing pose that reminds me that I can't always be a hero, that I can't always be a champion. The champion is just the one that shows up. Start to blink your eyes open, lift your gaze. And now one of my favorites, rabbit. So for those that don't want to go on the rabbit, you 
connect your knees together, hands the back, forehead to the mat. You'll feel that stretch across the mid back area into the shoulder. You want to go for a rep at the full expression. Reach for your heels. Grab your heels, thumbs out, fingertips in. Sit up nice and tall. Take an inhale. Two exhales, tuck your chin to your chest. Roll your forehead down to meet your knees. And now bring your heels together. Super important. Heels together. Pull against your heels. Bring your hips forward. Only slight pressure into the top of your head. Pull against your heels. Hips forward. Heels together. Now slowly lower your hips down. Your head comes up the back. <coughs> Excuse me. And now plant your hands. Step back to your plank. Back to your downward dog. Now work. Straightening out your legs. Maybe press your heels down toward the mat. You'll feel an extra little stretch. We're going to decompress the spine and stretch through the thighs. We just did some crazy stretches for the body. You can also bend one knee, straighten the other leg. This is called walking your dog. Settle your heels. Right leg up to the step. Right knee comes into your right wrist. Let your back knee drop down, top of your back foot onto the floor. You'll notice that my heel is just in front of my hip. Now, for those that want to advance this and go a little further, congratulations. You can take your heel forward and make your shin a little more parallel to the side of your mat. Doing that increases that stretch. Now, super important, stay right where we are for the moment. We're warming into these poses, remember. And right now, I want you to just check in with how your hips are. Are you square? Are you rolling to one side? Just allow yourself to be nice and square so you can feel that stretch into the back. All through the IT band, it's this outside area that goes to the side of the thigh, crosses across the glutes, and is all attached into the quads, into the hamstrings. So it can cause areas of, it's an area of problem if we don't stretch it and take care of it. When you're ready, hand yourself forward and down. You'd like to go a little further. Your forehead can come to the back of your hands. Just again, focus on your breath. Can you be here? Can you be now? Can you let go of that list you're running through your mind that you have to do afterward? And just focus on the moment. Stay here with you. You're that important. Now slowly work your way back up to your hands. Tuck your back toes. And press yourself back to your downward dog. And once again, you can walk your dog. You'll notice that stretch to the right leg. Now it's a little more increased since we just did the stretch to the IT band and all those big muscle groups. Settle your heels back down. Left leg comes up. Left knee comes to your left wrist. Back knee comes down. Back top foot onto the mat. And once again, remember, your heel just in front of your hips is a little bit easier to obtain. That's where I'm at right now. You want to work your shin parallel to the front of your mat. That increases your stretch for sure. And remember to check in with your hips. Are you rolled over to the side or are you nice and square? Notice it's kind of hard to tell, but my hips are in one line. And you'll notice because you'll feel it into that outer area, into the back of the hamstrings, into the glutes, that whole big IT band area. When you're ready, hinge yourself forward and down. Forehead comes to the back of your hands. We'll be here for just a moment. Just focus on the breath. Focus on letting go. We're always trying to run things through our mind. And it's pretty typical as us humans. First, we'll live in the past. We'll live in the future. What has happened or what will happen. And neither of those things exist. They are only in our minds. But the right here, the right now, that does exist. What we're doing right now matters. 
Slowly bring your way back up to your hands. Tuck your back toes. And then press back to your downward dog. And you can walk your dog out once more. Now let your knees come down to your mat. Let your hips sit down. We're going to make our way onto our backs. This is the favorite part of everybody. <laughs> That's the lower series. This is the signal that we have done all the hard work. Pull your right knee in towards your chest. Take your right hands, or your both hands, interlock them over your shin. And now change the angle. So pull your knee outside of your rib cage towards your armpit. Keep your left shoulder down. Keep your left hip or left heel engaged. And you'll feel that pressure between your right abdomen and your right thigh. We're taking care of the internal organs here, which is where 75% of your immune system lies. You can also increase this by bringing your right elbow over your right knee. You'll also feel that stretch, of course, in the front of the left as you're stretching open the right and taking care of the ascending colon here. This is also called wind-relieving posture, and it does everything that it advertises. <laughs> Keep your knee where it is. Take your right hand inside of your right foot, and then bring your ankle up directly over your knee. Form that 90-degree angle. Bottom of your foot faces the ceiling. Left hand to your left hip. So you can keep your left shoulder and left hip down. As you exhale, pull your right knee outside of your ribcage. Give yourself just that moment. Continue to breathe. You can use your arm strength. Press your left hand down, left heel active. As you exhale, pull. And now release. Bring both knees into your chest. Reach over your shins. Grab for your elbows. And as you exhale, pull your knees into your chest. Work your hips back to your mat. You'll feel that stretch across the front of your hip flexors and the pressure in between your thighs and your abdomen, taking care of the transverse and sigmoid colon. You can also rock left and right for a little spinal massage. And now release. Keep your left knee. Let your right arm or right leg go. I can't work today. And turn off your hands over your shin. Now change the angle once again. Pull to the outside of your rib cage. Right shoulder stays down. Right heel active. Right hip active. Feel the stretch in the front of the right hip as you pull the left thigh out. You can also bring your left elbow over your left knee. Keep your right shoulder down, taking care of the descending colon on this side. Now, one more time. Take your hand inside of your left foot, right hand onto your right hip. Bottom of your foot comes up, ankle directly over your knee. Right shoulder, right hand, right hip stays on the ground. As you exhale, pull your left knee outside of your rib cage. Use your arm strength. Inhale for space. As you exhale, maybe you find a little more real estate. And release. Now bring both knees into your chest one more time. Reach over, grab for your elbows, and give yourself that big hug. Moving full circle. Now keep your right knee one more time. This is your last two stretches, guys. Left hand outside of your left knee. Right arm comes out to the right. Look over to your right hand. And let your knee drop over to the left. There we go. Now notice, if the knee is too high up, you're going to feel it in your lower back. So bring your knee down a little further. Ah, there it is. You found it. You'll feel that through the IT band and through the glutes, the outer thigh area, stretching through those hip flexors. Keep your right shoulder down. Just another few breaths. And now as you look up, engage your abs, bring your right knee up, and straighten out your right leg. 
Now your left knee comes in, right hand outside of your left knee. Your left arm moves out to the left. Look to your left arm. And now let your knee fall to the right. Remember, once again, check in with the positioning. Let your knee lower a little bit. And you find that beautiful IT band stretch while we're also resetting the spine, countering all those back bends that we did, all that work that you put in. Congratulate yourself for that. You showed up for you today. Now look up and engage your core. Bring your left knee back up and straighten out your legs. Now separate your feet about hip distance. Get all of the shakes or shifts out of your body. Now let your toes fall open. And let the backs of your hands come to the floor. You can let your eyes close. And this is the pose for which we practice yoga. It's a pose of contemplation, honor, and respect. Your chance to focus on everything that you accomplished today. Hold on to those small victories. The fact that you showed up for you and made you important is the most important. With every breath, you feel yourself melt into the mat. Notice your forehead release, jaw release, shoulders melt into the mat, spine becomes heavy, hips become heavy. Your legs and your arms fall through the floor. Remember to take time each day for you to fill your cup each and every day. As we move forward into the rest of our week, remember that the past is history. The future is a mystery. And right now is a gift. That's why we call it the present. Let yourself be more rooted in the now, where we create in the now. Whatever you do, let whatever you do be enough. Start to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Make your way over onto your favorite side. Your bottom arm comes up to cradle your head. Your knees come into your chest and your top hand rests for your fetal position. And this pose is one of security, of serenity and peace. The body remembers we used to live here for 10 months before we entered this world. This is also a pose of nurturing, reminding us that we can give ourselves everything that we need because we already have it within us. Keep your eyes closed. Press your way back up to your seated pose. Hands onto your knees or hands come up to heart center and just look down to your fingertips. It's been an absolute pleasure guiding you through your practice. The light in me recognizes and honors the light in each and every one of you. Namaste. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We ran about five minutes over, but, you know, sometimes time flies when you're having fun, right? <laughs> so thank you so much for showing up and for making you important today. I say that a lot, and it's because it's true. You make you important. You put you at the top of your priority list, and magical things will continue to happen in your life. I promise you that. Remember here at Warriors for Life America, Leland Holgate, we are always there for you. 
We have all of these videos here. And also feel free to check out traumarecoveryyoga.org where we also have other trauma-informed, resilience-based yoga. All right, guys, have an amazing, amazing day. Namaste.